my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I got my phone here because I did ask you guys to send in your questions so I can do a Q&A life update. And by the look of the phone right now, you guys are gonna be like, wait, did you just get a new phone? So that is one of my new updates, you guys. Thanks to Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I am an ambassador with Samsung. I got my hands on their new S22 Ultra phone and I've just been so obsessed with it, you guys. So this is all I use now. It's literally the most epic phone I've ever owned. Like the features on this phone are like out of this world, okay? As always, like Samsung, I feel like they, they're already at the top of technology but then when they make new phones, they just want to take it up another step. The creation, the performance, everything about this phone is just a whole nother level. So I'm just going to go ahead and just tell you guys a little bit about this, like my, my favorite parts of this because like I'm just that obsessed with this. So as you guys know, I am a content creator. So when it comes to like the camera, the video quality and everything, it's everything to me, okay? so. The thing that gets me so excited about this phone, and I don't think any other phone has this, you guys, is the fact that it, it records in 8K. 8K. Are you hearing that right? Like, what? Like, who's still using 4K? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It records it in 8K, and it also has video stabilization. So, I can record my daughters, like, dancing or, like, jumping up and down, even my dogs, like, running, and it'll record everything super smoothly, like, it looks like I'm recording a movie. It also has nightography, which has night mode, you guys. So that way, if you need to record at night or whatever, or just in case like you're having like a movie night out or like, I don't know, you're out and about having dinner or something and there's no light, you don't even have to worry about this because it has night mode. Night mode will let you capture pictures or video and it'll just make them look super bright. This phone is gonna make sure to deliver like the best clear, bright videos and photos like that is what i just always want because you know lighting is everything you guys i feel like it just pushes my boundaries even more to be more creative and have more fun with it and you know not stress about like the lighting or this or that you know like it just makes my life a lot more simple which is why i I feel like I'm gonna be using this one for a long time now because it's it's just that good, you know? And oh my God, please don't get me started on portrait mode. Like that is the best portrait mode on a phone ever because it really like gets it down to, even you know when I have like the baby hairs like showing up and it sometimes like doesn't really capture it nicely on other phones. Well, this one, honey, it'll like still look like it's actually taken from straight from a professional camera like it it's just good like you just have to try it also because i am always constantly creating content or recording or on my phone checking my emails so that way you know i can be up and about like without having to be glued to my desk um it has a really long battery like it will last you probably more than a day i i, I can't i kid you not like by the time i wake up to the time i go to sleep i don't have to charge it in between and when i do charge it it will let me know like how much like how long it's going to take for me to charge my phone i actually do appreciate that it has the really long life battery and also it charges super super ultra fast so if you guys want to check it out just for yourselves or just like you know to create content or like you know take your little creativity to another level i highly recommend you guys check it out it is amazing but anyways again huge shout out to samsung for sponsoring this portion of the video let's go ahead and get started with the actual q a now that i did update you guys on my new phone i have the questions here pulled up the number one question i have is why did you stop blogging <laughs> I feel like that's literally my number one question or it's either when are you gonna start vlogging again? <laughs> so let me tell you guys a little like I don't even know how to even answer this question you guys because the answer is like I, I do want to vlog you guys I don't know why I just kind of like took a break from vlogging because obviously I was doing vlogmas and I took a break and I wanted to have that moment of like you know catching up with myself just in general like with my postpartum and also my daughters i'm not only just doing social media now like i also have my business now so it was a little bit at the beginning like a lot trying to like balance everything out and seeing how i'm gonna like you know divide everything i guess that it came down to just me putting it off to the side to the side and then once eventually i wanted to get back into it i don't why i got kind of shy like honestly I, did, I also didn't know if i wanted to put it on this channel and continue it with this or if i can now restart you know 
with Valeyas because as you guys know, I do have like a whole separate like channel for my vlogs. Didn't know if I wanted to restart it again now and if I was gonna ha be able to have the time to do that. And it just came down to just me not picking up the camera. I don't, I even got a new camera. Like I'm even recording with it, but I was excited about it and then all of a sudden I just don't know what happened like I don't even know how to explain it you guys but I do want to start vlogging again but just let me know if you guys want to just see it all here on one channel or if you guys prefer for me to just separate the vlogs and have it be on the vlog channel and then this channel just be for like my main content videos let me know because I'm kind of also very like not even sure about what to do with that so Please, please help me. <laughs> so a lot of the other questions that are coming up um, kind of in, in a similar way is how how has it been with two little girls now? But for real, like the honest truth. <laughs> That's how they ask. And to be completely honest, it has been a lot more easier than I thought. I thought I was going to be like going crazy. Like if I'm being very honest, you know, like I thought I was going to be that mom pulling her hair out every single day because I wouldn't know how to like handle both of them because Jaylene in itself as you guys know she's full of personality like she is full of energy and I thought for some reason Kyleen you know was gonna be the same as crazy as it is I know that not all babies are the same but for some reason I just thought like you know just having a kid in general is always gonna be like the same kind of experience I guess I don't know but Kyleen turned out to be super super chill you guys like I don't know, like she is very advanced when it comes to her milestones and doing things, but she's she doesn't cry too much. Um, she's very easy to please. I don't know, I feel like the second time around, like everything has come a little bit more easier for me, like to know what to do or I know now like what she needs or what she wants. So it's a lot more easier, I wanna say. Um, but it hasn't been crazy. If anything, it's been super, super good. I want to say like the just the only hardest thing about it is dividing the attention for both of them. Like when sometimes I'm talking to Kyleen or reading her a book, Jaylene just also wants that whole attention. And so it's kind of like, you know, like how do I divide myself, you know? So it's a little bit hard there because when they both want your attention, it's a, it, it is hard, you know, because it's like, Yes, you want to give them both the intention, but at the same time, they both want it individually. I feel like that's the only hard part, just kind of like dividing yourself like into two when it comes to like having them both at the same time. Um, but other than that, it's been really great, you guys. Like I, I feel truly blessed to have them both. <laughs> so another question that I've gotten is, how has it been with being a mom of two and now having to manage my business? And also like how do I handle the stress and this is funny because also another one of the questions asked and I feel like I don't know why I feel like you guys sometimes know it I don't know like the energy just flows you know when somebody's under like something you know but anyway somebody asked are you under a lot of stress and don't honestly say how you feel and just keep going and honestly you guys I I've, I've gotten to points and I feel like that's the reason also why I haven't wanted to pick up the vlogging is because I've gotten to points where I will literally sit down and just start crying because I'm so stressed. <laughs> and uh, hold on. It's not that I'm crying, but allergies are kicking in right now. I've had my moments, my breakdowns, you know, that I just sit down and I just start crying because I'm trying to figure out how to split myself between everything. The other day I had a moment with my mom where I sat down and I told her, I'm like, mom, I really am about to just start crying right now because I didn't know how to handle my emotions in that moment, like the stress. And so my mom was like, let it out, like just let it out, you know? So I started crying and she goes, okay, now talk to me, like what's wrong? And I'm like, I just don't know how to handle being a wife, a mom, a content creator, and now having to handle my business, like, I, I'm like, I don't know how to like manage it anymore. Like, I feel like I was like, kind of like losing myself in that moment. Thank God, like I am truly blessed with a lot of work, but you know, it comes to the point where sometimes I'm like, okay, it's a little too much, you know, like how do I handle everything, you know? And then also we're having a new launch, so it's been a little bit hectic, but I know that I guess what kind of like calms me down is that this isn't forever. And I always see it as God is truly blessing me with more opportunities and greater experiences with my life that 
you know, I should just kind of look at it the other way. And that's kind of sometimes helps because it brings down the stress and it just makes me be more grateful and look at the experience or the stress as a positive thing instead of a negative thing, you know? So I feel like that's helped me so much turning it around the way that I view it, taking it day by day, you know, like trying to like see what I can do in that day. And if I can't do a lot of it, or sometimes, you know, if I only got to play with my daughters for one hour, at least it was an hour, you know, like at least you're giving it your all and you know that you're putting in that time. I'm just trying to be more nice to myself, I guess, in that situation when I don't have so much time to spend time with them or work out or work on myself. Like, I guess just, just that. <laughs> That's all I can say for now because I'm still trying to figure it out, you guys. Like, I'm not perfect. Obviously, you guys know, obviously, we're all human here. I don't know why this time around, I feel like I haven't shared that as much with you guys because as you guys know, I always share my ups and downs with you guys. Like, it's very easy for me to just overshare everything with you guys because I see you guys as families, as friends, like somebody close to me, you know? But I feel like this time around, it's been a little bit different. I guess it's just because I've been going through the whole postpartum thing and I don't want to go into a dark hole. Um, because as you guys know with postpartum you can easily go into there, you know Thankfully, you know, I have a really good support system and I know that I can still depend on them if I if I do feel like I'm going through that path, but so far I've been wanting to take care of it myself by just you know not oversharing too much because I know that everybody online has opinions and everything but it's so easy for people to just like be like well, why are you stressed like why are you this? You like? Why do you feel like that? You can't feel like that because you have help or you, you know what I mean? And I feel like it's just been always hard because when it comes to motherhood, obviously it is a whole different realm of like opinions, you know? Everybody has a different opinion about how you raise your children, how you do things and all this stuff, right? I feel like because I have my husband, my mom, like, you know, all the help that I can get, I feel like people think like you shouldn't feel like that you know like you shouldn't be under stress you shouldn't be under this or that you know and it's kind of like yes i get it but <laughs> you know they can't breastfeed for me they can't be the mom for my daughters my daughters want me like they want the attention from me they want to they want play time with me <sighs> yes i have been really stressed but i know it's just for a moment um i just know that when I, when it comes to like launches everything's super crazy and stressful because you want everything to be perfect and you want everything to be successful like you want to have a successful launch you know so i feel like it's just been that right now and because i'm also working on future launches i feel like that's why it's kind of been a little bit crazy but just know you guys i'm trying my best <laughs> i guess it just goes to answer the other question is how am i doing mentally or how am i doing in general um and how are you like you know all these questions that people are asking which thank you guys by the way for asking how i am and everything but truly truly i am okay like i am truly happy i'm just like i said i have been under a lot of stress um trying to juggle all of the sponsorships my brand launch like future launches and like my time with my daughters because as you guys know i just i take everything very seriously <laughs> like when it comes to the time with my family my daughters like i take it very seriously and that's when i turn off my phone i don't look at, at it at all it's just my time with them and then when it comes to like making content for you guys or just in general for the brands um it's it's all exciting and and everything but uh, you know it's it's a lot sometimes like where i have to like plan out my days of how i can revolve it around the other things because as you guys know i also love to work out i want to like feel my best when i feel my best i feel like i can perform better at my job of everything in all the roles that i am also with my brand like as you guys know like it's it's a lot because it's just me and my husband um i do have a small team but at the end of the day it all comes down to me and my husband a lot of these other questions that i have they're kind of like around the same similar topic and it's all about my postpartum fitness journey like how have i been doing with that and you know how do i manage it with the breastfeeding and how much weight have i lost what are my top tips for weight loss or whatever like i have a lot of like similar questions to that so kind of just i guess to kind of like summarize everything is yes as you guys know i'm still breastfeeding and at the same time keeping up with my fitness postpartum journey um like i mentioned to you guys it is a little bit hard to sometimes make the time for it but i always manage to at least even if it's three sets of workouts i still do that 
Like even if it feels like a little bit, I still do something, you know, like I still get my body to move. My top priority when it comes to my whole postpartum fitness journey is my nutrition. That is the most number one key. And I guess having my proper sleep and stress levels low. So obviously, as you guys know, right now I have been under a lot of stress. So I feel like it's just kind of like more focusing on those aspects because those are the ones that are going to impact more of your, you know, your whole journey but i always manage to do a little bit of something and if i don't have any 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 time i at least will you know when i have my play time with my daughters um i'll lay on the floor with them or have tummy time with kai and i will focus on my breathing exercises for my core because as you guys know it's it's a huge thing for us women that gave birth to repair our core so it's at least doing something you know even if you feel like you didn't work out for 30 minutes or an hour whatever it is like don't be so hard on yourself like take it little by little that's how i'm taking it but like i mentioned I, I still breastfeed i don't eat on a calorie deficit obviously a lot of people are always like oh i want to like you know start my fitness journey but like I'm scared to lose my supply. Nothing about starting your fitness journey will make your supply drop because if anything, it should support it. Like, I don't know why people think that by eating bad, your supplement is gonna be okay. Like, even if you are eating healthy, it's, if, if anything, it's gonna help you in your breastfeeding journey. Um, as long as you don't reduce the calories, you know, like you can eat healthy, but you know, just don't reduce the calories. You can stay at the same exact calories that you were eating by eating the bad food. Um, and then just drink a lot of water. Staying hydrated is always going to be key to your supplement. I'm not a doctor or anything. Always ask your doctor, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna 99% of the time tell you that by eating healthy, it's going to just instead help you. Um, so yeah, there's nothing about like eating healthy that will make you drop your supply i don't think that happens I did my check-in today actually not right now that i'm recording this video and wow it like i looking back at my first photo when i first started to what my body looks like now wow like i'm really proud of my transformation so far but i know that if i continue to do it and i continue to be strong and still eating healthy and everything i know i can definitely hit some of my goals that I have for myself. I'm just I'm just excited to see my body continuing to transform, you know, by just staying on a healthy routine. So that's that. Um, but anyways, I don't, I feel like I've already made this video too long. If you guys want a part two, let me know in the comments below and leave me your questions. That way I can do that for you guys. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching me today. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Huge shout out and thank you to Samsung for sponsoring this video. To learn more about the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, visit samsung.com.